All right, let's get a check of our forewarned weather forecast with meteorologist Nate Larson. Nate, uh, windy day again today. What are the conditions looking like now? Yeah, certainly a gorgeous evening, though. We had this uh, photo come in from Brandon Bates in the North Salt Lake area. Let me just get rid of those uh, photos at the bottom as well. So, yeah, gorgeous conditions. Uh, after all the smoke and the haze, Tammy Budge capturing a gorgeous sunset from the Ogden area as well. Love the shades of reds, even pink and even purples uh, as the sun was going down. Uh, of course, not all areas saw all the smoke and haze. We had some wind, of course, across much of the state, but Scott Taylor out flying the drone over Moon Lake. Gorgeous shot there. All the change, the wind, the high fire danger today ahead of the front that's been moving through, stalling across central Utah throughout much of the evening, but the trough of low pressure is bringing all the change for uh, this weekend, a cool down into Sunday primarily. We've seen some temperature changes across Salt Lake, already about 15 degrees cooler than this time yesterday now that the front's moved through and the cooler air will continue to move through. Black Desert Sky Cam time lapse showing again the gorgeous conditions across southern Utah. It was dusty though, of course, with all of the uh, strong winds across southwest Utah. We had a lot of blowing dust and sand. Uh, we'll continue to see calmer conditions overnight now that the fronts move through much of the western half of the state, but will continue to impact eastern Utah into Sunday. Core of the storm system still off to the west of us. You can see some of the moisture that's associated with it. It's still a relatively dry storm system as it's moving in. We're not expecting much impact there. We'll see a little bit of shower activity, I think, cripple into far northwestern Utah as we get into Sunday. But notice it's mainly just cloud cover for at least the northwest corner. Now, southeastern Utah will still deal with some elevated winds on Sunday and a chance for some more isolated uh, showers and thunderstorms. Might see a severe storm as well. Most of it's just hugging that far eastern portion of the state, mainly across the Colorado-Utah state line with the brunt of the shower activity in Colorado itself. Now, as the core of the storm system works, its way through the northwest corner of the state. We could see a stray shower storm through uh, areas of northwestern Utah as well, looking like mainly Box Elder County. We'll have partly cloudy skies for the Wasatch Front for much of Sunday afternoon, but not expecting much of any precipitation. Should be just a cooler day, a day where we experience temperatures we haven't seen again since mid-June, a little bit of a taste of fall, with high pressure building back in early next week and the warm weather returning as well, as we're going to continue to see more summertime temperatures to uh, uh, go into next week. Tonight's forecast and temperatures in the 50s and 60s across northern Utah. Look at uh, Nevada. Some cool spots. In fact, a frost advisory for much of Nevada. Temperatures in northern Utah or northern Nevada expected to drop down to roughly 36 degrees where frost could form. Not the case for the Beehive State. Temperatures tomorrow, though, about 15 degrees cooler than normal. Mid 70s expected for the Wasatch Front. About 10 degrees cooler in St. George, 90 expected. Breezy winds rebounding back to near seasonal temperatures by midweek next week. Should be about 99 on Wednesday. That's average. 98 on Thursday. Back to the century mark Friday. No moisture is expected for lower Washington County as we get into next week but a slight chance could return by next weekend on Saturday. For the Wasatch Front, some partly cloudy skies, maybe a stray shower for far northern Wasatch Front, so Box Elder County. 77 for our high breezy, upper 70s on Monday. Sunshine for Tuesday and Wednesday, upper 80s are expected, and we'll see temperatures dip just a little bit on Thursday. There's a bit of a dry front that should sweep through, uh, at least just through northern Utah. Might drop temperatures about 3 degrees or so, but we bounce back to average highs Friday, Saturday, with most Mostly sunshine into next weekend as well. Jordan. All right, Nate, thank you.